Welcome to another episode of Man of the Forest and yes we are metal detecting again today. Today is Friday the 13th so are we going to be lucky or are we not going to be lucky? Time will tell. We are on the field where we found the bronze axe a few days ago so if you haven't seen that video have a look I think it's the previous one. Anyway I've had a ham salad cob and I've had a scotch egg which was like a bit frozen in the middle. Not very not very good that. Anyway it's pretty windy out there, which is why I'm doing this intro in the van. And um, we'll show you what we find. First find of the day, an old 5P. I'm not sure if you can make out the colour of that. But it's um, goldy coloured. <laughs> I got a bit excited, but I think it's just scrap. Uh, interesting though, it's got lines around it. I don't know what it is. It's not like a can. Anyway. I'll clean it up, we'll find out. Oh, I got a cool find. It's a little silver thimble. A little bit squashed. And it's tiny as well. Must be just like the end, maybe. But it's definitely silver. Lovely. Apart from that, it's been uh, fairly slim pickings today so far. Okay, the little thimble came out there, so sometimes when I find something half decent, I go around the area. Anyway, so I'm about a metre and a half away, good signal, and I found a dog's foot. <laughs> Look at this. It's been attached to something, it's a foot off something. How cool is that? <laughs> it's the things like this that make you smile when you're metal detecting. You know, coins, yeah, great, but when you find something that's pretty random and cool, how cool is that? That's going to go in my little treasure chest, that. Just need to find three more. So I'm just walking, I'm just walking towards Buckle Tree and yep, it's a belt buckle, another one. Hundreds of these, well tens of them anyway. So I'm literally right by a buckle tree. So named because we always find these uh, belt buckles. And here I've got the whole shebang. Uh, that bit there is the um, what you call it uh, the bit that's on the end of the belt and here it's the big bit and the small bit so you would have locked your, your belt with this piece point the camera in the right direction into the big bit so I can uh, put this down there we go there we are so that kind of locks in place you just slid it through there, I think. Oh, where's the other big one? There it is. And there's the, uh, the end of the belt. Cool. All came out one spade. There's loads of other signals there. There must be. There's just a massive stash of these belt buckles. It's strange. Guys, okay, so I've been uh, fettling around in the ground down here. Got all these belt buckles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the big bits, uh, even more of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight or nine, there's the belt ends, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's still more in there, but uh, <laughs> I was hoping there'd be something else in that one as well, but I'll come back another time and dig in more up and we'll stick them all together and see how many we've got in total in the end, I guess, loads, there's loads more in the ground, it's just strange, if anyone's got any ideas why these were all, all here by this wall and this tree, why would, why would they've just been dumped like this? Anyone got any other ideas? Let us know. And also, does this count as a hoard? Well, that's a strange find. A little disc with the number one on it. Strange. I am number one. A random find. Not particularly old. A thing off something. Well, we're back in the van. Not been a super successful day, but I've got uh, another Scotch egg left. Let's see if it's defrosted. Anyway, show and tell coming up soon. Okay, it's time for show and tell. We didn't find any bronze axes today. We tried our best <laughs> looking in the same sort of area. We gridded it out just in case there were any more, but it was a slim chance. Uh, but if you do want to see that video, it's the previous one, Metal Detecting Reality number eight. So this is number nine, and 
Well, there was a lot of foil came out of the ground today. All of that there's foil that I dogs about at least 13 pieces I had. No, I've got at least 13 pieces as well. Craig got at least 13 pieces as well. This is the little the focus. Reality. Yeah, this is the reality of metal detecting. There's also loads of trash in here. Uh, all sorts of stuff, metallic stuff. There's a, a nail I found, Ugh, whatever that is, whatever that is. That's, that, that's that, glass, actually. That, that's what came out of that. That's what I was saying to you. Oh, that's a, a frame from a window. From a window, yeah. That's it as well. Yeah, yeah. All sorts of rubbish. So let's go to the good stuff. Uh, not that. So I'll start with my random stuff. That came out really shiny. It's just aluminium. I thought that was going to be something good. So a random thing. <laughs> it's not. It's not a hinge, but it's a random thing. It's a hinge. That was, it's not a hinge, it's not, there's no, um, there's no hinge on it, it's just, oh it is a hinge, it is a hinge. <laughs> Come on focus. This is an interesting piece of something, but it's rubbish, that's a melted bit of something, that's a bit of something. This is a bit of something, but it's, at least it's pretty. <laughs> I think that's a door handle bit thingy. Possibly. It could be. Uh, right, this bottle lid, Offiler's Derby, so that's an old brewery, I've just uh, looked it up, um, no longer in, in existence. That was my random number one. This is a button that I found, it was one of the last things I found. Big old chunky button, uh, an old 5p. This is the dog's foot, it's pretty cool, probably off a, a fireplace around or something like that. And here is my tiny little silver thimble. Quite a pretty little thing. I found a thimble or two in the past, I think. But it is silver. It's tiny though, so whether it's made for like a, a child's little finger or or if it there was a bit more to it and that was just the end. I don't know. But anyway, moving on. These are the the parts of belt buckles. So I've got ten big bits, nine of the small parts, and belt ends I got um, seven and you didn't want to dig belt buckles today so you only got two big bits and one small one there's a load of a bit of a buckle dross, dross. rubbish dross. rubbish I think that's a tent ring in it yeah it could be a tent island yeah uh, a little button so not really many buttons today you got a cap off something and, oh hold on that's got those holes in it Hey, that's what it is then. It's off a well, probably a watering can. Hey, cool. Uh, yeah, that's quite novel. A couple of these things, which are little draw handles, maybe, or I don't know what they are, little knobs anyway. That's like a little rivety thing. <laughs> and a, that is a draw handle. Or is it, that's, is that a Roman brooch? Yes, I think so. Okay. And then you've got two coins. And this one on the right is a an early Victoria farthing. That's Britannia on that side, and to the side is you, really hard to make out. Oh, you can see her face just about there. Not very clearly. And then this one was, that's a Victoria as well, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, that's a young Vicky Bunhead as well. Was it 18, 1861? 1861, I think that says it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it for metal detecting for today. One tiny little bit of silver. Let's just finish on that. Just let you see that. Thanks for watching if you got this far. Don't forget to like and subscribe for um, more fun in the forest. <laughs> and as for now, see you on the next one. See you on the next one. Peace and love.